So we just got back from an absolutely epic boat ride here on the 25 Blue Water. We have Ken, the owner of Blue Water, with me right next to us, who took us out. It was very nice to take all of us out here today. We just went out of, was a Government's Cut? Is that what it's That's called? What it is, yeah. Government's Cut on a pretty gnarly day. Ken took us straight down the middle of the inlet and possibly the worst positions that you could put yourself in just to show us how capable this 25 foot center console is to be handling that kind of chop. Now, I already have a full walkthrough video on my channel going over all the hatches, the details, the rigging, every, all the information, the price, all that kind of stuff from the Fort, La Fort Lauderdale Boat Show where this boat was officially announced. So if you guys gonna wanna see that, I'm gonna have it linked at the end of the video. You guys can go check out the full walkthrough. Today though is gonna be a sea trial. We're gonna talk about the fuel efficiency. We're gonna talk about fuel capacity, range. This has a Seakeeper ride system on it, which you guys probably noticed in that video really helped out a lot leveling out the boat. So we're gonna be talking about that here today with Ken. Hey everyone. Uh, yeah, we just ran out the cut. Uh, probably two to fours, four to fives pretty close together. Uh, so this boat has a 24 degree dead rise. We've been using this hull for uh, 27 years. So we made the new boat. That was one thing we knew we weren't gonna change. Everyone loves the way our old boats ride. Um, so basically we changed everything on the interior, but we, we, kept, we wanted to keep the ride as much about the same as we could. Uh, we added a new console, which moved uh, about 500 pounds more forward. The batteries in the console, so that moved a little more weight forward. Uh, and then Seakeeper approached us about making the Seakeeper ride standard on this boat. Uh, and we, you know, with, the, with the, having a really great haul, we wanted to make it even better. And uh, we think we did that with this boat, with the Seakeeper ride. Uh, it's a, just a trim tab package with two small uh, boxes. It does a thousand calculations a, se uh, a, sec a thousand calculations a second and moves a hundred times a second. So it's gonna move faster than I can do myself manually using trim tabs and it just helps you keep the boat level in any conditions. Uh, you'll be able to see in the video how great the boat rides. All right, so we are going to start looking at some of the footage now that this clip is without the Sea Keeper ride system on. So pay attention to the bow here. So we're gonna hit the wave, the bow pops up, kind of floats. We're gonna slow that down for you and play it again. But just pay attention to the bow. Pops up, does like a little wheelie, and comes back down. Now that's normal. This next clip is a little bit faster, approaching the wave the same way. Watch the bow. The bow kind of stays glued to the water, and that's the Seakeeper ride system helping the bow stay level. Watch here again. Hit the wave, and the bow really does not pop up, even though that wave was a little bit bigger too, and we hit a little bit faster. Exactly. So that Seakeeper ride system, this is the first time I've ever been on a boat that has it. And I've seen them out of water before. And basically they just are constantly moving up and down to adjust the way that the boat should be riding. So when Ken was hitting boat wakes and we were going sideways with it, you guys might have noticed the bow stayed level with the horizon. That's because the Seakeeper ride system is constantly calculating, always moving to readjust the boat to keep a nice steady uh, ride. So that way you don't hit the wave side sea and then pop up on the one side or one side or the other so it really helps create a nice steady ride on a boat especially like this 25 blue water yeah i think the you know the combination of our hull and the seakeeper ride system this has got to be one of the best if not the best 25 foot boat uh, in terms of ride and being able to handle any conditions yeah um so uh, yeah i mean the best way to, to like the boat looks beautiful but it rides even better so you really have to be on it um, to really fully experience it. All right, it is time to head out the inlet here. So I'm gonna let the footage play. You guys just observe the waves that were not small this day. So the combination of this beautiful 25 foot, only a 25 foot center console by Blue Water matched with the Seakeeper ride system really made for an enjoyable ride going out this inlet on such a gnarly day. So just pay attention to how everything's behaving. Really try to observe it and pay attention to the bow of the boat. These were some big waves and this was really impressive. You guys enjoy it.
That was absolutely gnarly out there, and let me tell you, this 25 blue water match with the Sea Keeper Ride system handled it wonderfully. And we did get to see a celebrity cruise ship coming on out here on our way in, which was pretty cool. But let me tell you, Ken took that boat through the worst parts of the inlet, and it performed absolutely flawlessly. So, absolutely awesome boat, and actually, you can see here, Ken did let me drive the boat for a little bit so I can get a feel for it myself. Let me tell you, it performed wonderfully, and it is an absolutely awesome riding boat. I get a lot of comments in my videos about the price of the boat and when I made this walkthrough video of this boat there was a lot of people that <laughs> were commenting on the price but I just kept keep telling you guys build quality build quality build quality it's what you get is what you pay for this boat is meant to do exactly what we just did maybe you don't run up the middle of the inlet maybe you take the, the nicer way just for a more comfortable ride but that just proves what this boat is truly capable of if you are put in one of those situations and I think a lot of people don't realize all that goes into building a boat especially a boat of this quality um, it probably takes us twice as long as it does to build some of the other boats from the people that were commenting. Uh, we only use the best materials. Every single part on this boat we've analyzed and tried to find the best possible part. We didn't really consider price when we went for the when we picked out parts. We went we went for the best part possible. Um, so yeah, everything we did on this boat was to try to make the best riding boat we could possibly make. That's exactly what you want to hear from the owner of the boat manufacturer that you're getting your boat from. You don't want to hear that they skimped out on anything. So what? Ken, what's like the uh, fuel capacity? What's kind of the average, um, the fuel economy that we can expect out of this 25 with what, 200s on the back? Yes, this is Suzuki 200s. It holds 189 gallons of fuel. 189, okay. Uh, we top out about 54. So yeah. at a cruise of 35-ish, cruise at 40, you're gonna be burning about 15 gallons an hour. So you have a, you have a ton of range. It'll get you to the Bahamas easily. Um, anything offshore, you're gonna be comfortable on this boat. Okay. It's really built to do offshore fishing uh, in a package that's trailerable. Uh, I tow it with my F-150, no problem. I towed it down from Fort Pierce to Miami. Um, so we, we wanted to kind of fit that uh, everyman boat that can do it all and feel like a much more expensive boat. Of course, I think you definitely accomplished that. And I think this ride definitely proved that this boat is more than capable of any of the conditions that you really should be putting yourself into if you have to be. Um, yeah, I would say we're, we're in Fort Pierce, so if you're local, just give us a call and you can stop by the shop anytime. Uh, we built six so far. We really want to get as many people on them as possible, uh, experience the ride so they can tell their friends and tell their fishing buddies. Uh, everyone that's been on it loves it. Uh, we've only gotten good feedback. So uh, yeah, looking forward to meeting more people and getting more people out on the boat. Alrighty, Ken, thank you so much for taking us out here. This was absolutely an awesome sea trial. Definitely one of the best wildest I've ever been on. The boat is extremely impressive. Guys, we're gonna go back to the dock and give you guys a little tour of this boat just in case you miss that other full walkthrough where you don't feel like watching it. But thank you again, Ken. Yeah, no, no problem. I, I love your channel. I uh, appreciate all the videos you do for us. Thank I think you. next time we gotta take you out fishing. Definitely, for sure, we're gonna be doing some offshore fishing. We need to get this boat bloody, that's for sure. Not just salty, we need some blood in the uh, boat. You're washing it. <laughs> Thank you.
it's going to be done. So just a quick overview of this 25 foot blue water center console guys. This is going to be a fishing boat, a fishing machine. So you can go out in that gnarly weather. You can see up here, we have a very open concept. It's going to allow for a lot, a lot of room for a 25 foot boat. It is crazy how much room you get up here to do fishing. This is almost like a 32 foot center console. If you were to just look at how much bow room you have over here. Now, of course, if this is not really suiting for your needs, you want a little bit of seating options, Blue Water can make that happen for you. Just contact them and basically tell them how you want to make the boat and I'm sure they can help you out and make it happen. We're going to have some floor storage here as well. Some very impressive, really big storage. Like I said, guys, if you want to see me open up all these hatches and go into depth about this boat, I'm going to link the full walkthrough video from Fort Lauderdale in the description of this video. Let me take a little walk around the boat with you guys here. On the port side of the boat, we're going to have a little cabin over here, which is going to have a head if you want to take a peek on in there. Very nice head, all you need here on the 25 foot fishing boat. We're gonna have the helm station over here. Helm station has a very nice fit and finish to it. Very sleek, very, everything's kind of flat with it up against the back around. It's really nice, very sleek. Nice little phone holder. Hey guys, I always talk about the phone holder. I left my phone up in here. Throughout all those waves, it did not move. So absolutely awesome. Great console, great windshield, everything like that. The upholstery quality, captain chairs, everything was very comfortable when I was driving the boat to lean against even as a passenger as well. And then at the rear of the boat, like I said, for a 25 foot boat, this is an awesome amount of fishing space. You have so much room to walk around. And I'm telling you guys, go look at other 25 foot boats on the market and go see how much you're gonna be bumping each other, bumping into each other. We were just talking about this here when we were looking to get our 26 foot Edgewater and we were looking at other boats. The first thing me and Senior Salty were looking at there was the amount of fishability room in the back. And we found that on a lot of 26 foot center consoles, you were still constantly bumping into each other. And we said, what was the point of upgrading a boat if you're going to be still bumping into each other while you're back here? So 25 foot boat, I mean, this is an absolutely amazing, amazing uh, stern here. Plenty of fishing space. Right on the back of the helm seat, if you take a look over here, we're gonna have some rod holders, tackle storage, little mini tackle station over here. But overall, this boat is very impressive. Also equipped with dual live walls as well. So of course, you need to keep your live bait. But that is gonna go ahead and do it for this sea trial video. Probably I think the first sea trial we've ever done here on Living Salty. So that's awesome. Big shout out to Blue Water and Ken. Thank you guys so much for taking me out today. It was an absolutely awesome time. Remember guys, this boat is powered by twin 200 Suzuki outboards here. They did absolutely amazing. The Sea Keeper ride system was very impressive. I hope you guys enjoyed that footage as much as I did coming out here. Thank you guys for hanging out with me here at the Miami International Boat Show 2024. If you guys like this video and wanna see more content like this, more sea trials, maybe some more blue water content, definitely let me know down in the comments down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, consider subscribing down below. And until my next video, remember to keep living salty.